What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wicked day. In this video, we could be analysing another Pirate football match. This time, it's Newcastle United versus Northern Thunder. Now, if you didn't know, Northern Thunder are an OG Premier League team, but for some reason, they've decided to fold as a club, so they are no longer a team. So I thought before they hang their boots up, let's uh, watch a match from them so I can show you how good Northern Thunder are. It's such a really good team, man. Um, sad to hear that they're folding. But yeah, anyway, let's watch some footage and see what you guys think. So if you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe and all that good stuff. But anyway, that's enough talking anyway. Let's get straight into the video. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look. Right, so the ball's just gone out for a Newcastle throw. Yeah. So as you can see, Northern Thunder already won the up. And obviously, Northern Thunder are based in Newcastle. So it's like a Newcastle derby, pretty much. That's a great ball across. Good front bumper back. Good cut out by Ed. Number 10, Ed Common. Not number 10, sorry, number 11 in the box here. Straight across. Alright, so we've got a goal kick. Uh, the cameraman's not moving the camera. <laughs> yeah, there we go, finally. Alright. They're going for a short goal kick here. That's interesting. Good touch, Ed on the ball. Yeah, he's battling, good battle, Oli Crawshaw on him. And they're going for it, great battle. Ollie's getting it, he flicks it out. Ethan Fisher across. Oh, he could pass and what a finish that is, what a goal. What a goal, I just want to take that back. So here he flicks it out, even Fisher gets it across, comes off the Northern Thunder player, but he pokes it across. Now Oli Crawshaw here hits the ball across here. He could have easily, easily shot that. So the ball comes here. He can shoot here, front post. If he could you can see my mouse. Yeah, he could shoot it into this corner here. But he knows he's got a man back stick, so he knows. You might as well hit a pass here. If you hit a pass, you secure a goal. But if you shoot here, the keeper here might be able to cut it out. So the pass, the pass is the is the play. He hits it across, and it's a tapping, mate. Absolutely beautiful goal there. Newcastle tie up one each. That's that's a great pass passing play there. Could have been selfish. Could have shot it, but not not. Hits a pass. And it's 1-1, one, one. it's game one, Northern Thunder got a fight. Good little touch, unlucky. Uh, Obi Morris gets round, takes it around. He's trying to flick, trying to bait a flick. It doesn't do much there. Ed's on the ball. they got to be very careful here in the box. A good flick. That's a good, decent ball across, good cut by the keeper. That's a great pass there. So there again, I say, I say this a lot, but the wingers need to get back to the middle. So here, that ball needs to go back across to number 11, to Ed Common. I said the winger tries to take on. So you see this mistake, a lot of wingers do this, right? The ball will come to them, instead of knocking it back to the middle player and, and uh, starting the pass from the back, they try to take it on and doesn't really do much there. Now, unfortunately, again, the cameraman's not moving the camera up. So we can't quite see where the ball's going. Now, I get this footage of YouTube, but I don't record this myself. So when it's like this, I can't really, <laughs> can't do anything about it. Just need to move the camera up. No, that was a bad ball. Another bat battle going on. Ref could have given the two on one, but let's it roll. Yeah, good battle here. Newcastle player cuts it out, gets the flick, 
but the keepers the uh, keeper the referees blown for something must have been quite a foul or contact or something I didn't see what happened there all right let's see what thunder can do here he's looking around there's unlucky there it's surely a two on one Ref playing advantage very nice Newcastle get the flick uh, good goalkeeping there and he's kept it in can he keep going yes he can and unlucky day dribbles out of play Oli Korsha takes a quick one down the line front bumper back so here I want to see Newcastle I want to see Oli leave this here leave this for um, the guy behind you the goalkeeper for Ethan Fisher, sorry, I can't remember his name. But the ball goes out. It goes down the line, front bumper back. It's quite fortunate it's not a two on one there. I just want to pause and talk a little bit about Northern Thunder. In this match, they're not playing that particularly great. Uh, this was the big first match of their final weekend. You can imagine if the club's folding a lot of the players' minds are elsewhere. You know, it's a difficult time for all the players. But when Northern Thunder were at their peak, they were such a fast-passing, controlled team. They hit the ball hard, but with control in the final third, the passing is very quick. And a lot of the Northern Thunder players, they don't really talk to each other. They just know what to do. It's really amazing to watch. Because unfortunately, there's no footage of them back in the day. But this is what we've got to work with here. But still, it's an interesting game. It's quite evenly matched. It shows you how good Newcastle actually are. This season coming, I think they finished fourth. Thunder finishing third. So you can see they're right there and thereabouts. And number eight takes the ball, triples it out, and Oli Kors for clever there. Now it's a terrible kick. You can see number eight is watching, so you kick it straight at him. It's not the best play. See what they do here. Oh, that's a terrible miscue. You can see what he was trying to do there. Give it back. Could not quite get the angle right. He's unlucky there. Uh, good ball back to him. And he just swings. That's a terrible pass again. Yeah, good passing. This, this is what I was talking about. You see this type of passing here. Right here, this here. Front bumper. Front bumper back. He swings sideways, Ed gives it back. Can you see, the ball's not traveling very fast here, but it's controlled. And that's the name of the game. A lot of players have said before, a lot of players, a lot of teams smash the ball for the sake of it. But when you're passing to your teammate, you don't want to slam the ball to them, do you? Because, you know, you want to give them a chance to control, touch the ball, have a think about what they want to do. If you're smashing the ball at people, it's very difficult for them to control it. And you want to put the ball not at their chair, but you want to put it in front or behind so that they can actually do something with the ball. It's like a normal football, a lot of midfielders, they know which player prefers what foot, so they try to put the ball at the player's foot. Same thing in priority football. You need to know what players like it where and put the ball in those areas so that players can actually do something with it. Like it's a terrible, nice control front bumper, another front bumper. Nice little swipe. They're not hitting the ball that hard, but one, two, hit it across. Oh, and he's oh, he almost did the keeper there. He almost did the keeper there. That's a good shot. And went ref's given a foul there. So you can see what I mean. Such a good team, Northern Thunder. Passing the ball nice, calmly, softly, not smashing or drilling the ball. Gives everybody a chance to do something with it. 
Right, so it's a free kick outside the box. It goes down the line. It's a good foot rotation. Ooh, unlucky there, number 10. Very unlucky there, I think. Let's go back for a second. What could he have done? So he's, he sort of turns on the ball. So here, as the ball comes across here, number 10 is facing forwards. Now, when you're facing forwards, the only thing you can do with it is when the ball comes, you poke it with the front and chair forward. That's the only thing you can do with it, right? If he's facing like this guy's chair here, if you're facing sideways, or even if you're facing backwards, you can swing and swap at the ball. You can full rotate, half rotate, whatever. It gives yourself options. When you're facing forward, there's not much you can do here. So yeah, as the ball comes, there's not much you can do. And because our bumpers are square, if the ball's coming across like that, it's very easy for the ball to just slide off the front because it's a flat surface. So if you're facing sideways or backwards, you can swing and have a shot. And that's what I would do here anyway. So I just think his chair's in the wrong position, so he can't do much with it. I like this game is chair positioning. A lot of this game is anticipating where the ball's going to go, putting your chair in the right place, and just timing the hit. So again, sorry, can't see what's going on here. Okay. That's a one two. It's a decent play trying to flick out. Newcastle trying to build pressure here. It's a good touch. Ethan trying to full rotate. That's a great pass. But Newcastle on. It's a good one two there. Comes out to the Newcastle. Good touch. Can you flick this out? Not quite. That's good. Everybody's waiting. Can you full rotate? Get this across. Not quite. Good cut out. Newcastle plays on and just miss hits that. That's good play there. I uh, hear it says uh, Thunder 2 1 up. So I think we missed the goal somewhere, but it's good control play here. And that's good. Takes the ball out. Good dribble. Ethan Fish trying to get it across. Hop of the net's open. Ah, that's an open net, mate. Now let's let's see what's happened here, right? Let's take a look, right? Let's break this down. Right, so Ethan Fisher is their goalkeeper and he's way out. They're trying to deploy a four out system. But when you're playing a four out system, you need to be very careful with flicking the ball back. Because if the ball is not flicked back correctly and Northern Thunder take the ball, you're in trouble here. Now, first of all, if I'm Newcastle, I should I wouldn't be playing Ethan Fisher in goal. He's got to be your middle player, in my opinion, anyway, because he is your best player. So now they try to flick this out here. It Ethan Fisher is the keeper. He can't be flicking this ball here. Now, it's very fortunate <laughs> that the flick goes directly, literally directly to the Northern Thunder player. He can't miss this goal at all. He cannot miss this. But Ethan Fisher being, you are the goalkeeper, you are the last man back. You really need to think about what you're doing because you're trying to flick this across here. I understand. But in this position, you really need to take control of the ball and dribble it. Yeah, you cannot be flicking this if you're the last man back because if the ball goes behind you, you're stuffed. So he tries to force the pass and goes directly to a Thunder player and he's got to open it. And literally, you can any player can score that. You know, that is crazy goal. And the refs not giving it. 
Interesting. Did you give this as a foul? Okay, that's very controversial. Because I saw nothing wrong with that goal at all, but the ref didn't give it. Interesting. That is interesting, isn't it? Thought that was a legit goal. Right, Ethan Fisher takes it wide. Decent. Now, here I just want to talk about the Northern Thunder keeper here. He doesn't just come out of the box, he waits for the ball, takes a touch. It's a very old school style of goalkeeper. If you ever watch me playing goal, that's exactly what I would do. When the ball comes, take a cushioned touch and try to dribble it out instead of trying to pass out from the back. It's a very safe style because you know if you mess up the pass, <laughs> it's going to come straight back. But yeah, it's good. It's a good dribble battle. And he hits off his chair. It's very clever. It's a very clever play, Ed Common. Uh, England player. Hits off his chair and gets, gets the throat. Okay, decent from a good touch there. Trying to dribble it. Tries to get round. Can we get a flick? Not quite, because the battle is tough. Not sure what cameraman's doing here. It's his back where they're trying to flick. And we've got a ball. It's a good quick take. Dribbles it surely two on one. It's unlucky the player, yep, and two on one, yep. It's another thunderbolt. So because that goal was disallowed, we've somehow missed another goal. I thought I recorded this so that we could see two goals, but clearly not. It's a good hit, but a good cut out by Oli Korshaw. Trying to dribble it. A good rotation there by the Thunder player. Trying to get wide. It's good dribbling hit. Oh, it looks like Ed's chair's dead or something. Alright, he's going to take a throw in. Maybe the cable came out or something. It's one, two, can he get it back? Yeah, he gets a pass. Can we get a pass? Across, flick it, full spin, unlucky. Alright, last kick. One two in the corner, not quite. Newcastle player did touch it, but they've given it a goal kick. It looks like it touched in, and it's a wrong. Ethan Fisher on the ball. Hits it down. It's a good cut. And he's given a turn one. Alright, anyways, we're going to stop it there. Now, I thought Newcastle scored, or not Newcastle, I thought the Thunder scored another goal, but it ends as 2-1. I thought it was a 3-1, but it wasn't, because that goal was disallowed. Again, not sure why that was disallowed, but anyway. There's a few clips there, you can see what Northern Thunder are about. Just control passing, not smashing the ball, all three players involved. It's very, it's very fun to watch. But anyway, that's going to be the video, so if you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. RIP to Northern Thunder because of obviously the club has folded. That's sad news because they've been a part of the Premier League since the beginning. So that's very sad to see. But anyway, that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace.